In this video tutorial I'll show you how to install the Facebook tracking pixel. Now Facebook, um, when you're advertising with Facebook you can do something that they call remarketing or retargeting and you can retarget people that have visited your website. So with a little bit of code that you embed into your website Facebook will be able to track Facebook users and then you'll be able to say to Facebook only show my ads to those people. The benefit to that is is that those people that have visited your website are already warm to your brand. Um, they've already been to your website so by advertising to them you're keeping top of mind so if they're doing research on products and services um, and yours was one of the products and services that they were researching you'll be able to then maybe even nurture that further um, and it's a very powerful uh, process in retargeting and remarketing on Facebook ads but this video will just show you how to embed it into a WordPress website so it's a, a self-hosted WordPress website and the plugin is called um, uh, Tracking Code Manager so that's what we're going to install and that plugin will allow you to put in the pixels that we're going to get off Facebook, pay, off Facebook um, ads account so in your WordPress log in to the dashboard, go down to plugins, add new and search on tracking code manager and that's it there, click install and activate And that's it there. So there are some instructions there as well. Um, I've clicked on the tracking code manager off to the side and this is what we'll get. So we want to add new and we want to call this Facebook tracking pixel. We're going to paste the, paste the code that Facebook gives us in here so we need to go back to Facebook Ads Manager so we're in Ads Manager we're going to click on Tools and Pixels and what we want is a custom audience pixel we want to create a pixel that's the name that it's giving the pixel so that's fine and we want to install the pixel now so we're going to copy Facebook pixel code and we're going to go back to our WordPress plugin and paste in the code there. Now the instructions for, for this is um, copy the code below and paste it between head and close head in your website code so we want to make it before the close head there's a close head we want to make it before close head and we want to go save and it's installed I'm saying it's installed and what we need to do now is check that it's working and what we need to do there is uh, install if you haven't already installed this Facebook pixel helper into your Chrome browser so if you haven't got it in just um, Google or search on uh, Facebook pixel helper and it's the Chrome, in Chrome extension and just click add to uh, Chrome I've already added it so it's there and that's the icon there so you just paste in the URL of the website that you've installed the pixel on and the pixel should fire Okay, so the pixel helper is saying that there is no pixels. 
found on the website. So let's go back to our plugin and under manager we've got the plugin here that we just installed and I'm going to click edit to find out why it's not showing up. And I'll just scroll through. Okay and here's our problem. In which page do you want to insert the code? We actually want it in the whole website, every single page on the website. But if you wanted to exclude pages or posts, you could actually add the content in there. You can also ins include it just on specific pages, which would be very good for the conversion tracking pixel, which means you're only going to put it on the thank you page or the success page after a, after a website visit has actually done something like filled in a form or put purchased a product, you would put in the success page here. So we want it on every page of the website and we'll click save. I'm going back to the website, click refresh. Fingers crossed. So here we go. Um, we've got the the blue indicator here to say that there is a pixel installed and one green which means one has been one pixel has been installed so you can install a number of different pixels on a website Facebook so um, you might want to track different uh, events and you can put um, you know I've seen some pages with over 11 Facebook tracking pixels on it so here's our pixel that we've installed it says it's a custom audience pixel which is the remarketing pixel and it gives you more information like the pixel ID um, it also is giving you the uh, showing you the code there so you can double check that it's the right uh, pixel that's showing up there if you need to but I'm pretty sure that's the one we installed um, now we can go back to Facebook that it's active there we go so, so it's active because we've actually been to it and it's triggered so it's telling Facebook that it's active and it's been activated within the last hour. So once you've installed the tracking pixel and you've you've um, confirmed that it's uh, installed correctly and it's firing and it's active, what you need to do now is actually create an audience. So this is the audience that will be created that you can target ads to. So um, to do that, you, you're on you're in tools pixels custom audience pixel and you want to create an audience you want to use the pixel that we just installed we want to track anyone who's been to the website and we want to track the maximum which is 180 days and we'll include um, enter a name for the audience which will be skin repair Facebook tracking and you can also include um, a description as well. So we're going to create the audience. Now obviously because we only just installed the tracking pixel we probably we won't have any audience at all but to check the audience you would go to tools and audiences. You'll see that the audience is sitting there and it's saying the audience is too small. So it's just also giving me the date and time so once it starts to get you know, over 20, maybe to 100, um, that's, you, you'll be able to see that that's working then. Um, and once it reaches you know, a couple of hundred, maybe six, seven, eight hundred, up to you know, a thousand you could, and, and over, what you can do is actually set up a lookalike audience. So what Facebook will do is look at your existing traffic to your website and then create a audience that looks like those people that are interested in in your website or, or been to your website look at the commonalities and create an audience that looks like it and to do that you would just tick the box here actions and create look alike we can't do that at the moment because it will say that um, the target the original target is too small yeah. so we need at least a hundred for it to do that but the bigger the better because the the more um, the more traffic that you have to the website that Facebook can track the 
the uh, I suppose the more relevant the lookalike audience will be. If you have any questions, leave them with the video. Thanks.